Now this is a, a subjective solved example, question 18th, circles. Now this is not an uh, uh, easy question. If you have not done the concept that we are going to use in this question before, so you have to maybe uh, listen to this video maybe two times to understand the concepts. Now see, um, there are two circles given in this question, S1 and S2. Um, and, and the static circles, there is no variable and also uh, there is a line given and that's a variable line there is a lambda in the line lambda included in the line <coughs> the question says that we have to find the possible values of lambda this variable such that the two circles the two fixed circles given circles lie on either side of this this line without touching this line or without intersecting this line so basically this line should exist should lie between the two circles without intersecting them or without touching them right so both the circles the smaller one with radius 1 and the greater uh, the, the larger one with radius 2 should be on the opposite side of this line right and this line should not meet these two circles so so one of the possible position is this now this line can come here this line can go here but it cannot touch maybe this will not touch right all these positions line can take and and something like this right but we'll see this this there's this no possibility of this case we'll see see later no no such solution will come because according to the equation of the line given this case is not possible so all the cases are like this only right so um right now how we do this um, we have to use the two concepts here one is uh, con con uh, like uh, intersection between line and circle concept you would have gone through in theory and uh, there is the position of point with respect to a line again you would have seen in straight lines topic now see if I say this is uh, this is center C1 so for this line to not to intersect this circle right uh, distance of this C1 from this line this length should be more than radius of the circle so distance of 1 comma 1 that is center of the circle from this line whose equation is this should be more than 1 so if you apply that condition distance of 1 comma 1 from this line 3 plus 4 minus lambda mod divide by root of uh, 25 should be get distance should be more than radii more than 1 so it means mod of <coughs> right it means mod of uh, 3 plus 4 minus lambda should be greater than 5 right it's a positive quantity so we can cross multiply now you see this mod uh, is, is see this line is variable circle is static now this mod comes uh, based on it, it, because of mod there are two cases now this line can be on this side or this line can be on this side right here here also we can have this condition distance of so so this line can also be like this in first quadrant intersecting positive axis positive y axis in first quadrant but it can be like this so parallelly we'll have to see first of all make case lambda greater than 0 lambda is positive if lambda is positive let's see the position of origin with respect to this line given line 3x plus 4y minus lambda so if i the 0 comma 0 if i replace then it is minus lambda as lambda is greater than 0 this quantity is negative so position of 0 comma 0 with respect to this line is negative now what we want is this scenario circle is fixed this is origin and line should be above this line should not come here or here if line comes here then both the circles will be on the same side so we have to make sure that origin and c1 should be on the same side of the line right origin and c1 should be on the same side of the line if origin sign of origin with respect to this line is negative then this sign of sign of 1 comma 1 with respect to the same line should also be negative that is 3 plus 4 minus lambda should be negative this should be negative right this should be negative means uh, this this quantity is negative so you put minus sign outside 3 plus 4 minus lambda greater than 5 right that is uh, lambda minus 7 greater than 5 lambda greater than 12 so we get this condition lambda greater than 12 and it satisfies lambda greater than 0 for lambda greater than 12 this line 
will be above the circle without intersecting it. <coughs> now we take case lambda less than zero. Lambda less than zero means sine of origin is minus lambda. As lambda is negative, it is greater than zero. So sine of one comma one should be opposite. Means it should be less than zero. Means three uh, plus four minus lambda should be less than zero. Seven minus lambda. This this expression should be less than zero, right? So and this is possible when lambda greater than seven, right? For lambda less than zero, you can see is not possible because sine of origin is negative. Uh, you can see because lambda is negative, sine of origin is positive. So for for uh, Oh, sorry, I did a mistake here. This point should lie on the same side of the origin. So, sine of one comma one should also be positive. It should be the same sign, right? So, positive means seven minus lambda should be greater than zero. Lambda should be less than seven, right? And when lambda is less than seven. <coughs> Uh, the common part is lambda less than zero, so we get lambda less than zero from the side. And if you come here, this seven minus lambda, <coughs> we know seven minus lambda is positive, so we can remove mod sign. Seven minus lambda is positive, so there's no rule of mod. Seven minus lambda greater than five, lambda less than two. Again, the common part is lambda less than zero, so we are getting lambda less than zero as a second case. For this circle, to not not intersect or touch. This we have two cases. We are getting uh, lambda greater than twelve is the first case, or it can be lambda less than zero. Right. Now similarly, we'll consider second circle. 